Welcome to Add a Little Dazzle. In today's video, we are going to make a graduation card while learning how to apply backing paste to the back of a metal embossed piece. I'm using a four and a quarter by 11 inch piece of basic black cardstock. And I have taken this piece and I have scored it at five and a half. The base of my card measures four and a quarter by five and a half. And therefore, I need to create a piece that will perfectly mat on the front of my card. As you can see, I have taken a piece of gold nugget metal sheet and cut it into a piece that measures four by five and a quarter. In order to create the perfect mat, I took a quarter of an inch off each side of the measurement of the base of my card. I didn't take it off of both sides, only one side. So I took a quarter, off, a quarter of an inch off here and a quarter of an inch off here. To emboss the metal piece, I'm going to need to start off by using my multi-purpose platform. As you will notice, it is completely closed. So what I am going to do now is that I am going to take my textured plate, my argyle textured plate, and I'm going to place it on top of my closed multi-purpose platform. I am then going to take my gold nugget piece and I am going to place it color side facing down on top of my textured plate as you see. I'm going to line it just the way I want it. Then I'm going to take my silicone rubber mat and I'm going to carefully place it on top. I'm not going to move anything. Then I will take my standard premium crease pad and I will place that on top and there's my sandwich. Okay so we're now ready to go. The Big Shot is all in place. I am going to now take my sandwich that I have created and I'm going to place it right there inside my Big Shot. Now I will hold it gently right there and start cranking. It will feel a little bit tough but don't worry about that. Just put your hand on the handle and start running it through until you have run the entire piece through the big shot. Don't worry if the silicone rubber mat starts moving. That's okay. Voila! Here is my metal embossed piece. Isn't that not just beautiful? As you can see, you can see the texture on it. This is the gold side and this is the aluminum side. And so now what we're going to do is that because this image is so deep, we need to make sure to fill it in. If we do not fill it in, then once you give this card and it's handled or sent in the mail, it will crush because of its deep embossing. So what we're going to do now is that we're going to take our backing paste and we're going to fill in those crevices. As you will notice here, I have just taken the nozzle and turned it and then I will start with filling in my crevices. May need to shake it a little bit. And it will start coming down. One of the things that I love about this backing paste is that it is not messy at all. All you need to do is fill it in like that, as you will see. Now sometimes it gets a little bit thick if it's been sitting around for a while. So another suggestion might be to take it and place it in a little container and then just pull it out with a brush. And here what I'm doing is I'm taking this small paintbrush to kind of pat in the backing paste. And so I'm going to follow the same step and I'm going to go and fill all these pieces. Let me give you a close up here so you can see exactly what this looks like. As you, you can see I'm filling in the the embossed parts here but actually on this side it becomes 
the deboss side. And so I'm going to start filling them in until I fill them all up and I will let it dry. Once you have filled in all the areas with your backing paste, um, my recommendation is that you place it by a windowsill and allow it to dry for about 20 minutes. This piece has already been allowed to dry and as you can see it is hardened. Now the great thing about backing paste is that as time goes by it will continue to harden. And so now what we are going to do with this piece is that we are going to apply sticky strip on the four walls. To do that you're going to take your sticky strip and you're going to simply attach it like so and cut off the piece right there and you will follow this step for the entire piece once you've attached a sticky strip to the four walls of your metal embossed piece simply what you're going to do is you're going to peel it off and you are going to attach it to your now card front. we're ready to start assembling the card the first thing I recommend is that you take a 24 inch piece of black satin ribbon and that you tie it in a bow on your card front. There we go. And then you just need to play around with it to get it exactly where you want it to be. I kind of like to put one a tip to one side and the other one the other way. And then what I will do is I will take my craft scissors and I will cut it to the length that I want. So now I have positioned my bow and my card front is ready to be embellished. I wanted to create a graduation card and so I used the Go Graduate Plus Stamp Brush Set from my digital studio and sized this piece, printed it out and cut it into a 2 by 3 very uh, whisper white piece that I matted onto a 2 and a quarter by 3 and a quarter piece of basic black cardstock. After I attached this piece to the black, basic black cardstock, I took my 1 16th handheld hole punch. I punched three holes in the lower right hand corner and I ran three black mini brads through them, as you can see. And so then what I did was I placed stamping dimensionals on the back of it. And so then all I have to do is peel them off. Okay, we were having a little difficulty there, so I peeled off the white film off the back, the stamping dimensionals, and I placed it right there. And I just patted it down, and I'm done. Isn't that beautiful? This is a great card to keep handy for graduations. All you have to do is print a bunch of these images, keep them handy, and then just change up your metal sheet according to the graduate school colors and you're ready to go. Now, because this is a black card, I also created a four by five and a quarter piece of Whisper White cardstock to mat inside, and then I stamped it with the sentiment of my choice. As you can see, this card was very easy to create and is perfect for upcoming graduations. All you all you need to do is make a bunch of images, keep some um, metal sheets on hand, and you're ready to go. Thank you for being us with us today, and have a dazzling day. <laughs>